Dear representatives from Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Emden, dear Dr. Antaid, dear Mr. Heideman, Mr. Haim, dear Mr. Ramay, dear business representatives, greetings from Pristina. I am grateful for the German Kosovo long-term friendship and business partnerships and your meeting today for further exploring for business partnerships which will strengthen the economic ties between Kosovo and Germany. The foundations of cooperation between our countries are long-standing. In particular, they have deepened due to our great human capital of our diaspora in Germany, who are a key success for investments in our country, for economic transformation and integration to EU. What Republic of Kosovo offers to investors? Our government's work under leadership of Prime Minister Kurti is creating and enabling business environment that is making our country more competitive and attractive FDI destination of Southeast Europe. We started with the reform of the public administration and the reform of the justice sector and created the commercial court which will deal with disputes between businesses. Just in last year, we have drafted the industrial policy for until 2030, 16 laws and 35 sub-laws for industry development and for improvement of business environment in the country. Among them are the law of sustainable investment, the law on industrial parks and technology parks, the five laws on industrial property, and now we are drafting the policy and legislation for innovation and entrepreneurship which all together will promote a favorable business environment and good care for investors. Kosovo has multiple advantages. Its government commitment to fight corruption and work under good governance principles, its cost effectiveness, its educated youth, its entrepreneurial qualities, its orientation to innovate out of necessity, and its near-shoring benefits with its geographic location in the heart of the Balkans, offering easy access to regional and global markets. We have made progress on infrastructure highways and internet penetration rate at 96.6% .6 in this year, which has improved connectivity and speed up trade opportunities. Kosovo is officially a potential EU candidate country, with EU compatible legislation in English and as the most transparent in the region. The overall tax burden is among the most competitive in Europe. The tax system is straightforward and in conformity with the best ex experiences and policies of the EU. Main tax rates are corporate tax 10%, VAT standard rate 18%, VAT reduced rate for basic living goods and services 8%, tax on imports 10%, tax on exports 0% and tax on dividends 0%. Kosovo has adopted the euro as official currency, which gives a comparative advantage in the region by reducing transaction costs and exchange rate risks, avoiding potential inflationary risks and ensuring overall macroeconomic stability. Dear all, the reforms of the legal and institutional framework that we are undertaking with the competitive advantage of near shoring and close cooperation have increased our country's credibility and the confidence to invest in the Republic of Kosovo. The numbers have shown that we, have, we are on the right track. In our first two years in the government, our tax income has increased by 66% and our FDI has doubled. On average, during each year of our government, we generated more revenues for our economy than in the previous three years combined. At the same time, the ranking of the respected international organizations have confirmed that our significant progress in the areas of democracy and rule of law. Dear all, for your interest, I want to share with you also that I am traveling today to Brussels to sign the EU agreement for Kosovo's participation on the European Union Single Market Programme for the period of 2021-27, 
which agreement will offer many benefits for our citizens and businesses, including increased access to market and greater opportunities for trade. Finally, I want to express my gratitude to the people and the Federal Republic of Germany for being a strong supporter of Kosovo's statehood and sovereignty and development and for providing significant support to Kosovo's era Atlantic integration aspirations, including visa liberalization and membership in international organizations. I thank you very much and I wish you the very fruitful business meetings with good outcomes.